Hey everyone, welcome back to Ahmed One Studio. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I created this surreal landscape in Blender using particle system and displace modifier. And if you want the blend file, you will get it in my Patreon. Links in the description. Like the video and subscribe if you are new here. So let's get started. Take a new plane and add some subdivision and a subdivision modifier to level 2. Then add a displace modifier. Click on the new texture. Go to the texture properties. Type to clouds. Decrease the strength to 0.1. Size to 0.46. Depth 4. And shade smooth. Turn on the proportional editing. And you can select any vertex. Move to up or down. To create the landscape. Go to edit mode by pressing tab. And create your own landscape. I hope you got it. Now this landscape. So I'll show you how I created this. There is a built-in add-on. You just need to turn it on. So go to edit and the preferences. Then add-ons tab. Search for landscape. Here is the ANT landscape add-on. Turn it on and save preferences. Press shift A. In mesh you will find landscape. Here is a lot of noise types. See what's look good to you. I choose this distorted edge terrain. And here is the height. You can play with this. There's a lot of options. You just need to see what you want. But I like this one. The random seed. So you will get new landscape on every seed. And you can increase or decrease this noise size. This is powerful setting. And the depth, dimension, offset and distortion. To create some beautiful landscape with it. Now you see the beautiful sky and the stars there. So go to Sarah Editor and switch to world. That is how I did it. Take a sky texture and mix node. Change float to color. Plug this here and this one here. Now this is the sun size. Then the intensity. You can increase or decrease this as much as you want. Here you can elevate the sun. I set this to 6. Then you can rotate the sun. I set this to minus 10. And you can set the mood from here and the air, dust and ozone. So the next thing is the stars. So take a Voronoi node and plug this to here. Switch to a smooth F1 and the scale should be high. I set this to 200. Well, if you can't see the stars, then don't worry. Take a map range node and put it here. From max value 1 to 0 and to max value to 100 if you increase from min value then you will see the stars i set this to 0 0.08 now we have it we have the stars so we move to the next part i got this texture from mega scan you can download it too here i just unplug the normal map because i don't need it and i have changed the color of the albedo map through a color ramp now I got these plans from Mega Scans too. So go there and download. I'll show you how I created this map. So I'll take a plane and give some subdivision. Go to wet paint mode and these are the brush you can add and subtract anywhere. Also you can change these settings weight and radius and strength. Go to object data properties. Here you can create lot of maps and go to particle properties create a particle system go down to the vertex groups and select your map so this is the number of particles you can set it from here how much you want okay then this is the seed if you click here you'll get randomized results see yourself which one is best for you this is the length you can increase or decrease the length from here then turn on rotation and increase the randomize and the phase now in the render, change this to collection and choose your collection here, instance collection and turn on pick random. This is the scale of your particles. So if you increase this, it will scale your particles. And here scale randomness, I have set this all the way to 1. Now if you go down, you will find this children. So 
if you select this interpolated like this is the display amount so this is your current viewport amount which you are seeing right now and if you want to have more particles in the render then you have this so it is a 4 means it will be 4 times more of particles in render but I will keep it none I hope you got this now here you can add noise let me show you click here set the type to cloud size to 0.45 depth to 4 what is important here is this color ramp turn on this I hope it is clear first one for grass 01 and this is the second particle system you can copy and paste and change the settings I took 1000 particles for this grass 2 I have increased the scale to 2 vertex groups same as before grass map and in the texture I have created a new texture map and change the size that's all now this is the third one for grass 03 collection number of particles 500 seed 8 and render scale 0.75 and scale randomness 0.5 so these are the beautiful plants and the next one is for rocks these two rocks are from megascan2 i have just changed the color to black take a hue saturation node and saturation and value to zero that's all so here is my rocks number of particle 18 and see 32 render scale 1.5 scale randomness all the way to 1 and in the vertex groups select rocks 01 map and in the texture same as before and the next particle system is also for rocks i have created this rocks weight map so that the last one is this take a cube and add subdivision modifier increase levels and shade smooth then add displace modifier create new texture Let's take a clouds size 0.25 and strength to 0.08. Increase the level of render and the texture is simple. Take any base color and subsurface all the way to 1 and change the subsurface color. Then the roughness 0.25 and transmission 0.9. Now I'll show you how I created the water. So this is my shader. Let's take a bright color, roughness to 0, transmission to 1. Take a noise texture and scale to 200, detail is 5 and distortion 0.25. Then take a bump node, plug into the height and plug into the normal and strength of bump 0.02. Now I'll show you the lighting part. Switch to render mode and we have this sky and the sun. This is my sun, we placed it here. Strength of the sun is 10. If you want, you can change the color and rotate the sun so this is my rotation minus 70 on the x axis and 30 on the z axis that's all and this is my fill light so it's uh, area light power of 2000 and scale it so that you will get a smooth shadow and this is my key light power 20000 it looks flat so i have used a gobo in front of the light search on google what is gobo if you don't know i added a plane Create new material, specular to 0, then take a noise texture, here switch to 4D, here 1.5, then scale to 5, detail 2, add a color ramp node, adjust the sliders, the black area is opaque, so it will create interesting shadows. So that's all for this video, I hope you learned something new, if you have any question, ask me in the comment section and check out the links in the description. Stay safe and healthy. Thanks for watching till the end.